Hi, my name is Carlos Coronado. I'm a game developer, and in this video, I just want to show you uh, in-depth analysis of the new Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer, but from the ace of a uh, game dev. So, okay, let's go. Okay, it's just right here, like the clothes are really, 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 really impressive. Like until a couple of years ago, clothes were made like sculpted, handmade, but now uh, more and more developers are starting to use a tool, a program called Marvelous Designer, which is a professional program to actually make clothes for the real world. And they realized they could use, they, they could use it too for video games. So that's why I think they look so good. Final, the new Final Fantasy also, the newest Final Fantasy also use this program. So okay, let's go. Nice volumetrics taken on here with the smoke and the interaction with the shadows. And this is the first interesting segment. So as you can see right in the bottom, there's actually really, really, really little grass. You can see the grass and the texture and how they both intersect, but uh, it's not usual to have games with such little grass because uh, it makes the GPU run hot really quickly and it seems that they found a way to do it, so yeah. Kudos to Rockstar. But as we will see, it's not everywhere. Again, the 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 draw distance of of, of the grass is going to be awesome in the world video. As you can see now we have like trees even in the horizon, like over here. That's something really fantastic. I am sure they're using some kind of instancing for the trees, and these are just 2D trees that become 3D once you become close. But it's amazing the amount of detail and the amount of uh, draw distance of, of the grass in the environment. The clouds is also something impressive that we'll take a look uh, further in the video, but let's go. Wow. New immigrants arrived. Driving outposts became See, this is what I told you earlier, that yeah, it's good to have this uh, short grass uh, for the really, really, really short planes. But for example, here, as you can see, we're not going to find that super small, awesome grass uh, everywhere. That doesn't mean it's something bad. It means that probably it's it's actually good that they they, they show the real thing, right? Like it, it, I like to to see a patch without that detail, that much detail in the grass because it shows us the trailer. It's not something made up, and the game is actually like this. And of course, you cannot make the the world game look that 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 beautiful with that little grass everywhere. So I think it's actually good that we saw a patch without grass here. Okay, so this is the first wow shot of the trailer, and there's nothing amazing aside from again the do the draw distance of the vegetation. For me, the most amazing thing about this tra this shot here is this line over here. And this is something really, really new. I'm, I actually have some Unreal Engine exam examples to show you what it is, but this is atmospheric fog. What does it mean? For until recently, this kind of god rays only work if you look at the camera. For example, let's go to my released game Infernium for PS4, Switch, and PC. And as you can see, it's the same effect. You see this kind of god rays, all right? You see them right here, right? But they only appear when I'm looking directly into the sun because it's a post-process effect. As soon as, as I stop looking into the sun, they disappear. But they should but they should still be here, right? Because they, even if I don't see the sun, I, uh, the sun, I should see the ray like going in through, the, through the, the particles in the air, right? This is something really new. It's called volumetric fog in the Unreal Engine and it's awesome. As you can see, it's the same effect and it's really expensive. So I, I think that Rockstar find a way to actually make that this effect run really cheap because it's really, really expensive. And as you can see here, I have another video example in Unreal Engine of how to do it. And as you can see here, the God rays appear even if I'm not looking straight into the source of the light. So that's really awesome. Here we have another example that uh, for me it's key to show that this is the real thing. As you can see we have a lot of detail here in the rocks but 
the rocks here are actually really flat and really plain. That's not something bad. This is maybe this, this is just a part of the map that it doesn't have any interesting events. But this is key to actually know that this is the real thing. It's not fake. It is the game. These are the kinds of mistakes you spec in AAA game development. Okay, this is another amazing shot. It's the, the draw distance is unbelievable. I'm not quite sure if this is like the map because there are trees here and maybe this mountain is not part of the map. I'm not sure if this is the border. I always see like this line here in the minimap. Maybe this is not even part of the map. I, I'm, I don't think so because this river seems really detailed and I think the, sh the player will be able to go there. But I'm not quite sure that we could go like, for example, all the way into these mountains. Uh, not because of anything, but the, the lack of detail in them. But still, it's really fantastic. And the interactions with the clouds and the and the environment, it's also remarkable, as we will see in just a second. Decades used to create a living world that's not simply open. Okay. So I'm sure this effect actually wow everyone, like, oh wow, he becomes dirty. It's actually really simple, it's just a linear interpolation with, with the, between two states, clean and dirty. It's amazing and, and it's really well done, but uh, the most spectacular thing here is the interaction of the raindrops with the floor and, and their little uh, ripples they put. It's an effect that they, they actually imported from Grand Theft Auto V, but it's still a really impressive effect. The animations looks fantastic, and the snow. As you can see, the snow here, the, the horses are actually interacting with the snow, similar to what God of War, the new God of War, did, and that's something really, really, really well done too. Again, amazing clothes animations, thanks to Marvelous in part. Some detail field to get the characters all in focus and to actually make them appear like separated from the background. Fantastic and again fantastic clothing and hair work. Notice that the hair only is real hair in the in the hair and the and, and facial hair. But as we as you're going to see, the this facial this uh, arm hair it's not real. It's just a texture. It's not bad. It's only a, a comment. Again, the grass, and now the real deal. The game is More volumetric folk. Again, the fog here is fantastic. The reflections on the water are, are oops, no, I want you okay. The reflections on the water are just amazing. Like, as you can see, it's more shiny here because the sun is here and not that much here because there's no di direct sun uh, impacting on it from this camera, of course. And the clouds. Oh my god, the clouds. We'll, s we'll see in a second what what's so special about the clouds. In this plane over here, more clouds interacting with the environment and something that is uh, amazing. If you take a closer look, you'll see that the water is not flowing at the same speed in every rock. And we have some foam and some particles going on in the rocks. I miss a little bit of foam. Uh, it seems really calm for the kind of river it is, but it's still okay. And again, the draw distance of the vegetation is just amazing. So this is the plane for me. This is, this is something... There's something really spectacular happening right here. As you can see, again we have the god rays, and but they are, they are god rays done by clouds. So this only can mean one thing: that actually the clouds are real 3D clouds. Because in most video games you don't get real 3D clouds. You get a skybox and it's like a painting in the sky. And to have real 3D clouds like these ones at this quality, I've never seen anything like that done before. I think that the only game that nowadays uses like real quotes 3D clothes is the No Man's Sky with the next update. 
And as you can see, this is actually Simul to Sky clothes. These are the kind of clothes that they are using. And these are expensive as fuck. So I don't know how well they optimize them, but I think they are using this, this, this kind of clothes for Red Dead Redemption. And that's awesome because I wish we get more clothes like this, but most of the game developers don't use them because they are so expensive that they, then they, then you cannot do other stuff like in the vegetation or maybe the animations or something, right? But it seems Rockstar found the balance and they are really good at this. So yeah, I'm not sure if they use True Sky or another plugin, but if it's not True Sky, it's definitely uh, something really, really similar. So okay, let's go. Game, vegetation, and it's something really amazing in that vegetation, which is soft surface. As you can see the, in here or in here, we see the back part of the vegetation, the part that is being lit is the other one, but we see like the, the light going through that uh, subsurface and it's usually done in skin, but more and more games are actually using it for vegetation too, to get this really, really real look of a little bit of translucency in the vegetation. Again, little grass that you should not expect in all areas of the game. It's not something bad, but it's here. Nice bloom. And this is also amazing. Like these are the little details I like to see in trailers. As you can see, these balls are really low poly, but that's not something bad. That's something good because that actually is telling you that, hey, this is not fake, because if I'm making a trailer, I want to fake the detail on it, I just put a bulb with more polygon resolution, right? The fact that Rockstar had the balls <laughs> to show these balls solo poly, I think it says a lot about how, how true this trailer is going to be according to the final quality of the game.